Hello everybody, this is Maniac for Bricks. You asked for it, and I'm delivering. We're going to take a look at the other alternative models for set number 6743. To find all the stats and information about the set, you can look in the original video, which is linked in the description and comments below. As with that video, I do have a few pieces missing for building these alternatives. So for the two but the kind of like corner shaped green plates that are supposed to go in there, part of it actually goes towards the back and that's why you have a little bit of a gap in the roof. But let's get on to the rest of the set. This is supposed to be designed like a hot rod and it's supposed to lean forward according to the construction of it. It actually does have a good look to it and it does use what I'm starting to really like as a building technique of using those large window pieces upwards so it has a bigger slope and it's really cool to see now a couple more times as I'm going through older LEGO sets. It does emulate a few engine pieces on the front. You have some nice lights there, and I do like how the grill is done in the front as well. It does seem a little bit odd when you get towards the middle area with some of the brown that's used in here, but that's just using the same parts in a different fashion, so I will have to leave it as that because it's not the intent for them originally. The fat back is fat back. I meant to say the bat is fat. The back is fat. <laughs> what I meant to say. Um, just a little bit wider than I really expected it to be, and there's really not much detail, so it just seems a little bit off in my opinion. This area really doesn't serve much of a purpose. A little bit of structure, but there's really not much to it. Now for the big question, can you fit a minifigure inside? Well, I think if you're looking at this just enough right there, you got your answer. No, you cannot, at least by the natural building of the instructions. This would be too big for, or should I say too small, for a minifigure to fit inside of here. In terms of modifying the set in order to fit a minifigure in there, you pretty much have to take out the entire seating area and a whole bunch underneath it. So this is something that I feel like is going to take a lot more customization than other models in order to fit minifigures inside of here. It's not as easy as the previous time where we just took out some of the interior or moved some of the seats around. Uh, this one is actually going to take a lot more effort in digging a lot more further down in order to fit this and put the roof on top. Maybe even moving the roof up a little bit more could give it a better restructuring, but in my opinion, this is just not going to work efficiently, and you're probably best to build this from scratch and just take little elements like how the roof is built or the you know, windscreen is built and some of the front that's built and incorporate that into a more minifigure friendly model. Now if you'll excuse me, let's get on to the last built of the set. So here we have the last model of the set. It is in the style of a Formula One racer. Now as I mentioned before, there were some pieces missing from this copy of the set and I will replenish those later. There is supposed to be two of the L-shaped green plates I talked about throughout the review that are supposed to fit here where those trans red pieces are, so it actually raises them up a little bit more. Uh, there's actually one or two green plates, one by two, that are supposed to fit in this middle area, and there are supposed to be two more of these cheese slopes in trans clear. Again, they will be replenished later, but at the moment of recording this video, I did not have those when buying the set uh, sometime before. So... Taking a look at this, it does have the style of a Formula 1 racer. I don't know it to a T, so I don't know if this back area is supposed to be that far back and that bit open uh, compared to the rest of the model. Even with the green plates in there, it just seems a little bit off-putting, and you could let me know in the comments below if you know any better about it. I did like a little bit of the engine build back there, but there really isn't any sophisticated building techniques. It's pretty straightforward plates on top of bricks and bricks on top of plates. Um, there is no steering wheel in here. It's kind of odd in that way because it has, you know, like a little bit of a miniaturized scale of the, of the middle section, but then the rest of it seems to be okay when compared to the wheels. Um, I did like how the stripe came down on the front and some of the plates being used along the sides for the wedges. And Really, you could fit a minifigure in here and maybe just throw an extra plate or two to keep them in place, but it is a bit out of scale from them, especially considering the windscreen uh, and not having a steering wheel. You could still modify this to dig a little bit into the set and put a minifig in there with a little bit more security around them on the edges, 
or even having a steering wheel in there, but that's pretty much all we can say about this one. Nothing really special about it. And compared to the other sets from this LEGO set, or the other models from this LEGO set, I honestly thought that they were okay. There wasn't really much... I mean, there was some modification you could do with the main model, um, but it still would have been a little bit tight for space for a minifigure to fit in. It still looked really good as far as all the pieces that were used. The hot rod that we talked about not too long before that, it could have been a lot better. It's not really my favorite. It's only a little bit surpassed by this model, just to have like proper scaling and color and everything lining up okay. So thank you for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed, and also forgot to mention that's supposed to be black, not red. And we'll see you next time with more LEGO videos. Let me know in the comments what your favorite from this set was, and if you didn't see the main model, again, link in the description below. We'll see you later with more LEGO videos.